Would you care to join my following? No, sir. I do not follow. back to the infinite talks podcast i'm erica Steele here with another beautiful episode of the infinite talks frequencies the frequency of love and today i have another special guest a returning guest one of my compadres my cousin aka june fresh goes by the author name of herman castillo herman castillo a creator of the guru cats journey uh, the guru cats uh, franchise this guy is an amazing person well-rounded man, individual with lots of energy behind him, trying to spread frequencies in the world with his creations. And um, I'm great. I'm so proud to have him and so appreciative to have you on, man, because I know it's last minute. I called you like at five in the morning. I'm crazy like that. But we know we roll like that. We are in a different frequency and it takes different types of people to try to put this together. So today, without further ado, I have Mr. Fresh, June Fresh. What's up, June? Hey, what's going on, Eric? Uh, glad to be in the show again. Another frequency we get to share today. So let's get it started. Yeah, man. So thanks for being on. I know that uh, I texted you like at five in the morning. I was like, hope Herman is up. Like, uh, I know that he's an early bird like me. And for some weird, weird reason, I like to say that a lot, right? For some weird reason, this week, this past week was a change of routine for me because the kids came back to school. And I, I got back to my old ways of like waking up early, you know, getting ready. And I love all that because me waking up early is just a different ballgame. Like when I wake up early, I get a lot of things done. And uh, I, I'm able to do st stuff like this, like put the podcast on, uh, do some promotion on, on the social media platforms and just read up on stuff that I want to read, you know, get tasks done. So I know you're like that, man. So I was like, hey, man, you got to be up. He's a he's this guy's a doer, not a waiter. He doesn't wait on stuff to happen. He makes things happen. So I was like, I gotta talk to this dude, and uh, let me see if he comes through. And I, you know, when I said that, I was like, he's gonna come through. <laughs> so, hey man, how you doing, bro? What's going on with you? Nothing much, Eric. I just woke up. Actually, I was already awake before you actually texted me. I do wake up early, so um, for me, also myself, a routine change. Kids back to school, work as usual and um pretty much just be prepared daily for what i have to do next with whatever task i have ahead of me that's pretty much it and um, i like to actually i got to a point where now um i have to wake up early because i want to clean the yard i have to make more time because i'm so busy throughout the day so i got i get up early to get those before the little sunshine you see that little light coming out that yeah. light, that sunlight just to cut the grass and that's what, I've been, that's what I've been doing this week also. I have a big yard, so the grass is all actually all over, the <laughs> roots and everything. So yeah. I, I kind of see that as my mind. I got to make sure, okay, whatever I see in front of me has got to look clean. So my yard is one of those things that actually brings me back to my mind and realize, okay, if your yard is dirty, then you still need work in your mind so you can have a clean mind. And that's one of the tasks I do. I make sure I keep my garden clean. And that's what I look forward in the future, having a, a big garden with a lot of vegetables, with a lot of nice vegetation or just plants. Just go in there and sit down and just meditate, have a little meditating spot in, in my big backyard. So pretty much and keep on. Keep, I've also been just writing, Eric. I've been writing a lot. But um, let's go ahead and just yeah, whatever and you want to ask me or whatever you want to talk about. Let me know and let's let's get it. Yeah, and I was going to actually ask you before we get into the topics and all that stuff, just a little bit of what you're doing, because I know you're a busy man. And aside from 
taking care of your garden and being the one of the main things that keeps your mind like focused and sharp and like decluttered. I know you're very busy, man, especially with the Guru Cats project. The whole, the, I mean, not, not even a Guru Cats project because it's not even a project anymore. It's already a business. It's already a, a up and running corporation. If you want to call it, call it like that, because there's a lot of people involved. I mean, you got Walmart ready. You got um, you got Amazon. A different Amazon. You have the the website. You have the YouTube channel. A lot of things going on. The audio book. The writing of the new book. So how do you, I mean, before you even, uh, we get into another topic, how do you get all this done, bro? Like it's, uh, it's pretty, t pretty difficult. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have to be very disciplined or some sort of thing like that. How yeah, you, you have to be disciplined, but more, more than likely you have to be, uh, willing to do stuff people are not willing to do, uh, wake up early, do some meditation, do a lot of stretching. I'm actually doing a 90 day stretching challenge, what, which I'm in day 28 today. Let me see. I think it's 28 somewhere around there, 27 or 28, where I have to stretch for 90 days, at least 15 minutes a day. And what I've noticed with the stretching, it kind of gives you, it kind of, it's kind of like yoga stretching. So it, it relaxes you. It, it makes you put your mind at ease. It makes you understand, okay, life, life is not about time. There's no time. And it, what it's about is about who we are and what are we, what are we doing in this earth, right? So that's one of the that's one of the frequencies I had to tap into. I had to actually tap into back in the day when I started creating this. And like you said, after a while, it just became autopilot where I understood what I'm doing. I understand how to train my mind. I understand, okay, this is what needs to be done in order for me to get the next step done. And um, in other words, I'm just set, setting the foundation for, for our business, for the Guru Cats, for the franchise. Everything that you're just talking about is something that the business needs with everything that's headed towards about technology and where technology is right now as far as Facebook, TikTok, and all those outlets that allows you to have a business from your home. Everything's working from home. You get every, as long as you're, you're able to understand, okay, I have all these tools with me now it's about choice what do i choose to do with these tools and i always choose to do to do good every day to put my mind to learn better one thing better every day if you can say that and i always do that and i understand my path so my path drives me to where i'm going i do see everything that i'm doing as far as the guru cats family man and all that i have to place myself in an image where i see myself meditating not in my garden that I have right now, but in a future garden that I see myself in. You get me? And when mm -hmm. I do that, when I put my mind in that state where this is where you want to be, it drives automatically my, my, all my, everything I'm training my mind to tell me, it's actually pulling my body towards that direction. So kind of like um, you put the end result of where you want to be and where you're at right now. And then everything within those two new points of, of energy or whatever manifestation your your mind and your and your your presence starts putting you in the position to get to that location in that point in time i guess right yeah they're just it's called your de that's destination. destination that's what it's called your destiny you're, when you realize your destiny the rest is history you're just um living your life and what i'm doing is living my life and part of being who i am now is a creator of the guru cats and I understand mm -hmm. that. And I see, okay, my story is going to be way different than anybody else's story because I am Herman Castillo or German Castillo or June Fresh. That's that's who I am. And people now get to see, okay, I'm telling, at the end of the day, it's about telling a story, delivering a message. And mm -hmm. the way I'm doing that, what well, the way I choose to do that is by portraying it through illustration, through cartoon, through movies and all, and visual, sound, everything. So... All my abilities are coming together where I may understand, okay, I have so many talents. I have so many tools in front of me. What is a product that I want to create? And it becomes back to it. Also, it's also a product, the Guru Cats. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it, Eric. And also I make sure I keep a journal daily. Not only am I doing that 90 day stre uh, stretch challenge, but I'm uh, that challenge is also two in one where I get to also write every day, either my stretches or anything in particular that comes to mind. That's amazing, bro. That's an amazing uh, activity because uh, I guess when, when you're disciplined about doing something like that on a steady basis, it becomes a part of your routine, but then it becomes a part of you, you know, like, and that thing's, that's different because when it's part of your routine or you try to do it, then you will probably tend not to do it in the future. You know, it's just like a moment in time. But whenever you're doing it, like as a, 
a part of you. Like you already kind of, I think you've been writing for years, right? But now it's like, you're very disciplined about it. You, you make sure you do it every day. And it, it's be, actually, do you get inspired? Like I need to write something right now because there's a thought that's so clear in your head that if you don't write it, you might miss it. Is that something that happens to you? No, because I understand that I cannot be writing 24 seven. I have a life of myself. So mm -hmm. Um, to me, when I get one of those thoughts, you know what? I put it in my mind, in my library. I got, I got a storage right now running at a high level because I limit what I put in my mind. So it gives more space to, for me to put knowledge and whatever I want to talk about or whatever I need to, to put in my mind, it gives it space. So when I have to, when I start writing, it goes into that library and it picks it Bro. up and I write it, I, I let it down. Bro, let me talk about that. That sounds amazing because like the way I'm looking at it is like, uh, like you have a computer, right? Mm -hmm. and or you have a phone because everybody can relate to a phone and you want to put all the apps there right like you want to put all the apps that you want you need yeah. blah, blah, blah. so what you're doing is instead of putting apps on your phone which is your brain analogy right you're deleting all the apps only having the notes open so that you have more giga space i guess more gigabytes more space to write mm -hmm. notes so that whenever you do don't have the time to write anything you don't you don't have anything going into that brain into that mind you have enough space to store that information and be like, all right, I'll get to that later. And, and there's nothing else that's going to distract that. I Correct. love that, man, because you're more focused. You're able to actually attain more knowledge. That's that's going back to your destination. Like you need to have that that space available to get to that manifestation destination. Because if you have clutter, 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 then you can't focus on the destination. And you're getting like navigating yeah, it, around the way. There's distraction around Distraction. It. And that's basically what, what I write about, about how eliminating distraction get, gets you towards your, your destination. I mean, I and I understand one thing I understand also, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So um, you got to understand that the hardest part is just staying in line with where you're going. Bro, I thought it was a sprint. <laughs> I was running. No, I'm playing. No, that's, oh, you, that's you can that. take a couple of sprints. And that's when you talk when you say that's the, the I guess the analogy behind it. Uh, I take a sprint, which would consider a write, me writing something in paper. That's considered me a sprint. Like, oh shit, this is this is top. I need it right now, and I'll make sure I'll write it down. But you like, can't do it, like 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 you no, think you, about I it. Can you can't do twenty I, sprints. A, yeah, because a, I work, I have kids, yeah. so I have to limit my mind to understanding capture it right now. And I do that. And once when I when I capture something, that my mind tells me capture this put it in paper and i'm like okay so i put it in paper and now i'm in that level where everything in the guru cats is just making sense like it made, it already made sense right but now i see okay how the potential behind the guru cats is about to be seen with your eyes now it, it's just right now it's just it's a cloud right and everybody's reaching in to get a little taste of it we got those channels tiktok and i do see those numbers they, they we got people going in daily to our website Mm -hmm. so i understand that so now i the little the little circle that spins around to make this business go along it's the people i understand that so the people want the cartoon so that energy comes back to me and i transcend it into becoming the cartoon and i'll figure it out get how get money how to connect what i need to connect all the answers come running towards the finger my fingertips and i just get grab a pen and write it down okay this is what i have look i'm gonna show you something real quick go ahead man Let's see if I can show you. Bro, and this is this is a there. magic. You see right that? Here, can you read that? Guru cats will rise. No, no, no that the just the letter what what it says right there. Code. Coded. Coded. Mm -hmm. You see that code? That that code to me is this, if I if I put it in my brain, it scans it and it gives me my whole game plan. You get it? Mm-hmm. It's amazing, bro. You so that's why, circuitry. and and when you read this, it leads to all that out you're reading. It leads into that code, like okay. And when I see it, I'm like, oh, okay. Sometimes you need you need that because we do live our our conscious mind. We live in a thinkful, emotional place where we're seeing everything. Everything's coming towards that at a hundred miles an hour. We don't see that, and that's how smart we are. Like we're smarter like where you think a computer can download something into a phone or a, a phone download something an app or whatever our mind is faster than that mm -hmm. our mind is faster than that and because think about it, you have to go to the phone you got to go look for the app your mind already did that for you and you're going and doing it 
in your conscious mind. Yeah, it's true, dude. If you think about it, like your mind already did all that, and you're just waiting well, you for, just it, for it, the so phone to catch up, the computer put, to catch if up. If you put yourself, if you put your mind to learn things that are gonna help you towards getting to your destiny or your destination, then obviously you're gonna make it make it easier on yourself and and have smooth sailing towards towards your destination. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. I believe that. So yeah, Eric, that's what I've been doing. And but one thing I I my yard was killing me. I was like, damn, if there's something bothering me, I need to clean that yard. And now that I cleaned it, I feel like okay, there was a lot of files you just deleted in your memory or whatever you don't need in your head, you're deleting them too also. So I love that, bro. I, I love guess that. I've, been, like... I've been I've been I've been I've been listening to a lot of things that I shouldn't have been listening or eating a lot of things I should have been eating and stuff like that. That's your subconscious mind telling you, hey, like cut that stuff out of your system look at your yard if you can't clean your yard there's something wrong with you like you gotta make sure you're living a clean environment i guess you want to say that uh, that's amazing bro it's like you're saying declutter right you go back to yeah, the declutter, declutter word and uh it's like uh you go through your phone you have tons of pictures that you don't even need so you just delete them so that way you have enough just the pictures that you need yeah i love that, I love that bro that's amazing amazing analogies right here bro y'all learning from the master the grandmaster mr gary mr mr gary he is here. mr german Castillo. mr german b <laughs> mr no, man, gc that's, that's... guru cats no and gary. and all those and uh, that's what are, those guys are everybody but gary v everybody influencer you see at the end of the day that's their goal they're trying to influence you to think for yourself like hey be smart wake up this is what life is learn how to think learn how to put information that is valuable into your mind and in return, you'll get good stuff. You'll get things that are going to be valuable to our universe. Yeah, man. And uh, talk about influence right now, kind of a little bit of a segue, which means change of topic. Um, a couple of distractions that I've been, uh, you know, weaning off for the past few years. And one of the things that has been very key for me to stay focused on what I have to do and put little decision making to fruition, you know, of manifestation of destiny that I got to do, things that I have to make, things that I want to plan for things that I want to stay focused with, like the, the, the podcast, the, the business, the, the guru cats journey, all the, all those, um, you know, things that I have to do, all those goals, um, are from me able to, to, to cut out the distractions. Right. So for the, even for the, for the past year, like I haven't really jumped out to any music. It's just been very rare, but one of the key ones that I've done for the last, maybe a good five to six years, man, I don't even listen to news anymore. And I posted on TikTok the other day. This this guy I said that. Uh, I think he was on TED Talks. I forgot the name of the guy. But he was talking about how cutting the news from your daily life is is a great way to like stay true to what's in front of you and your senses. And it goes back to declutter. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess we want to take it there because lately, if you if you do watch the news, and even if you don't watch the news, the news will get to you. Like for me, like I'm like dude why do i have to know about this right like doesn't really make sense but like the whole thing that's going on in afghanistan um they when i say they it's like the news the media the people they make it seem like it's like a it's like a fear tactic and it goes back to like distraction like it makes the public talk about you know uh, situations that are do are affecting the world right in some some, some sort of fashion over there but it's also like distracting you from becoming your true self, your higher self, all that stuff. So if you, if you, you can hear it, but don't dwell on it. Like, Oh my God, like the people in power, are the ones that are going to be able to change that, you know? So if you, if you try to like have a conversation about it, so somebody with like about that and then they're like, no, it's cause this and that, like it's the, it's this person's, uh, it's their, it's their problem or they created this problem. You know, you start blaming people for that the situation. It, that's a distraction, you know, it keeps on deterring you from your destination. And the reason I want to talk about that is because right now there's not, not only that topic, but there's like all kinds of topics in the news that are making it to your, you know, to your laptop, to your, uh, your, your phone device, to your Amazon, you know, what do you call it? This, uh, the Alexa, all these devices are giving you this information and sooner or later you're gonna you know start biting into that information even if it's subconscious you know start coming, like oh like me just talking about it right now i was like it's my subconscious telling me like do you heard all that stuff but are you gonna really like 
dwell and dive into that energy or create and spread that message mm -hmm. when there's a higher messages being um you know you can spread you know like you can actually share and, and like uh like those people are going through something that we can't describe we can't be there but what can we do here to become the best thing that we can be you know like just uh, you, there's people here like they're going through like hunger and we have thousands of people <laughs> crossing the, the the border and become part of this world you know part of this country and all that stuff so all of that put together man just creates this massive wave of uh distraction and if you're not tuning into that then you can probably do more things that you want to do so it's just cutting out the the news is a good way to kind of like divert the, not to like oh, oh my god i don't want to talk about that but just like you know kind of like delete some of the clutter that in your mind to stay focused on what you want to do in your life what do you think about that june no yeah that's definitely something you have to do and um if you listen to or if you if you just study people that are successful one of the things they do is that they don't they don't dwell on that news they don't they just stick to what they're doing they become the news they, you become well, if you do something spectacular obviously you're going to be in the news right but they don't dwell on information like that because it goes back to storage like okay why would i want to have that in my head when i could have this information that's going to help me or be good or whatever right and those, that's one of the things that God gave us as far as human beings. He gave us the ability to do good or to do bad, whichever you want to choose, right? So that's power itself, like to the ability to do good, that's strong. And one of the topics I remember you had was uh, strong words, was it? Or something about words? The power of words? The power of words. And it goes back to the power of words, right? We just think about it. Each word has its own frequency, power. Mm -hmm. I think you, you can relate it in so many ways. Strength also, uh, sadness, uh, news, whatever. Whatever word you use, it has a lot of frequencies going out of it. And it goes back to the power of words. So mm -hmm. whatever words you want to put in your head, whatever words you want to speak, that has power itself. And that's what the, the main thing we, God gave us, the ability to speak, the ability to, to pass along a message, the ability to help somebody. The ability to do good. Do a hundred percent. And uh another thing that I was thinking about when you were saying that is that uh the news, sometimes when you well, if you tune into the news, there's an agenda always. Like there's always people paying that news reporter to say something. Mm -hmm. And it's usually corporate energy, right? Corporate money. So what happens is that it's it creates there's a couple of things that it creates. It creates fear in the mind of someone, right? Because you usually see bad news, you never see good news. And if you do see good news, it doesn't get as you know the high frequency it should should be getting it's like a like negative energy always gets like negative news and all that stuff it creates fear right the second thing it creates is it could create division you know division amongst the people of division amongst mm. the classes division amongst political parties you want to call it division about between minds that's why that, that's, that's what i'm saying like that it, it ends up being division of the mind from division of somebody else's mind and then the division of your own mind your own mind is going through division because it starts becoming a polarizing thought. You're like, why this? Is, why is this happening? Why is this happening to us? You know, oh my God, I'm scared to be out there because there's a lot of things going on and all this. Like, so it starts creating this division in your mind from being focused, using your God-given talents to uh, to do something positive in this world. Because everybody has a talent. You just sometimes you don't even know what kind of talent you have because you haven't discovered it because you're too cluttered with all the news and information and all the information that you're trying to feed you. And you're buying into it so it's it's a it's a very easy formula that you can do for yourself like just mm -hmm. delete the news like reading newspapers is one deleting the the news section like whenever the, the five o'clock news comes out the early morning news comes out the the late night evening news if you just tune all that news out you're going to start saving your 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 bandwidth in your mind and be able to put more and then you got to do that work actually you still have to do work that's not just it like you delete that but then what are you going to do with the extra space you got now so that's where it comes in like okay now i got to read something that's going to empower my mind something that it's going to empower my my soul something's going to empower my focus you know so yeah. all of those uh that formula you got to delete the news and then use that extra bandwidth to put something that's going to be positive in your mind and then actually do the groundwork okay footwork now what i got to do to actually put that information into use like us mm -hmm. right now we're actually recording something 
We had to go through a lot of steps before we got to this position, this place. We had to actually, like all these years of deleting stuff, deleting stuff, deleting stuff, from deleting the music, deleting the news, deleting the sugar, <laughs> deleting the bad foods, deleting the, the bad thoughts, deleting the, all this negative stuff, adding information, reading books, doing meditation, you know, studying things that are going to be prosperous, um, putting uh, gratitude. Your gratitude, putting things into work. Like, okay, I have a thought in my head. What am I going to do with this thought? How am I going to manifest it real quick? Put the first step forward into that thought. Something that's yeah. good. I mean, obviously, you got to do manifestation for the good, right? For, for us, at least. Some people might do it for the wrong reasons. But at least for me, if I have a positive energy that, that I need to uh, put something into fruition, it could be the smallest thing, man. Sometimes I have a thought in my head like, hey, do you see that plant right there? Water it. That's the subconscious mind telling me. I can easily just be like, kind of like you, like, oh, just leave it alone, not do it. Mm -hmm. But if I want to manifest it real quick, I hear that thought, listen to it, go get the water hose, turn it on, or even get a cup of water and just pour it on the plant. And, and it, goes, it. it goes back to you. Want to go ahead, Eric? Sorry. And I already manifested that little thought. Yeah. Once you manifest that little thought, the power of manifestation keeps on getting amplified. Mm -hmm. Because then now you know how the power of seeing a thought in your head and actually put it into existence, how easy it is. It's just, it takes, it takes a while for you to see that clearly. Because mm -hmm. you're yeah, so it does. in your mind. It takes a while, so you have to find that alley that takes you back to what you're talking about, that image, whatever image. And that's one of the, the my mentors, you want to say, Bob Proctor that I follow, he talks about that. Like, we need to teach our kids, you know what? I want you to write here whatever you, you want to see yourself doing in five years, right? And we we held him accountable to that. Like, we, we, we teach him how to get there. And he says that, and he starts, he says, write so many things. And at the, at, and that's an imagination. That's You go into your imagination, you write that, right? And you, let's say, okay, who would have thought I was going to do a cartoon, right? I, I could have said, okay, let me write cartoon, uh, one of the most famous cartoons ever to come out U.S. history, right? Groove Cats. And everybody was like, "What? you're crazy. And then, and then no, 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 I'm not crazy because I'm going to put that image in my hand, which is I did. You give me, you know, it goes back. Mm -hmm. How did I get the Guru Cats to come to life? I took my time. I make sure I had a title to my thought. Like, okay, what do I want to do? It, of course, it wasn't a cartoon, but one thought led to the other. And it's the process of seeing everything come to fruition. I was like, okay, now I did this, the book. Okay, now I did our first character, the character. And then my mind just started just putting the puzzle together. And if you would have asked me five years ago, did you ever expect this? I'm like, no, but what I expected was to do something good every day. And this was the outcome. Wow. Towards my mind. And and if you see my background, dude, very similar to what you're talking about. My background is uh, a testimony of my manifestation. So if you see my background, I'm flying through different places, different Cancun. parts of the world. So the gurus or the, the, the frequencies that we're sharing here are going across the world, right? Across the nations across people, New York City, you know, des different destinations around the world. And it's all, it all started with one frequency, you know, the frequency of love, which is the one in the background right there. Just love. Oh, it Don't follow out. I can't me. see it. Okay. Yo, so that frequency right there, the one, the E, okay, it stands for it. love. So it's, it all started with one frequency, which is what when I heard God tell me it's all about love. And I didn't understand it when I first heard it. But I, I was like, okay. And I started crying. It's all about love. It's all about love. And it happened with when my one of my uh, good friends passed away. Peace, rest in peace, Ray. That happened. That that manifestation of that thought, little by little, started getting more energy, more traction. And that happened over twenty years ago. So it, it took a while for me to really. Actually, it was twenty years ago, to mm. the day, someone something like that, or about nineteen years. I mean, I'm, I'm off by <laughs> or two, but Summer, around yes. twenty years ago, that thought started like grabbing traction. You know, little by little. And I, I knew that I had to do something, but I didn't know what, because I was too cluttered in my mind. I had so many thoughts racing in different directions. You know, I wanted to do music at one point. I wanted to do movies at one point. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to be an artist. But I didn't, all those thoughts were just driving me in different directions. 
I wanted to be uh, so many things. At one point in my life, before I graduated high school, I wrote down in my li- in, in one of my uh, journals, or not the journal, but in my memory book, I wrote down that I wanted to be a doctor. And I did want to be a doctor. And the only reason I wanted to be a doctor is because I was really good at science. And my, my teacher told me, you should be a doctor. And that, that little saying that he told me sparked oh. the idea in my mind that I was like, I should be a doctor. You know, but not a doctor for a general medication, more like a, a like a research. I could see myself doing research lab work, you know, stuff like that. But I never put that into work. It was just a thought that came in my head. I never really practiced the manifestation towards it, you know. But yeah. if you see the background and as I'm as I'm speaking, though my frequencies are going everywhere. We have people listening from other parts of the world. We have people from listening from the United States, Mexico, you know, Japan, the guru cats, China, Japan, China. So what, not only that, but in my mind, one of the, the end goals for the company, for podcasts, for the guru cats and everybody, for, all the, for the whole unit, the, the, the system that we have, the, the connection that we have, all of us, is to have an airplane, you know, to have a jet, a private mm-hmm. jet for us to fly anywhere we have to go to provide assistance to anybody who might need it in whatever shape, form, or, or fashion and be able to have that luxury, not that luxury, but that pure energy behind it to to actually have a positive impact on the world, and um, that's that's one of the end goals, man. That's why you see all this flying around and like it's part of the manifestation, kind of like you ma- imagining the 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 end the picture. The yeah, picture you got to put of, a picture behind it. Mm-hmm. There's got to be drive, and you see that picture, and you you go to sleep, and you wake up the next day, and, you, and you're looking towards that picture. I saw this mm-hmm. movie, Eric, the other day. Was about this couple that wanted to buy a house. That movie was like so, like kind of those movies were like all like all they had to do they they wanted to go see a house, right? So they let, let me explain a little bit. They walked into this store where it's not a store, right? Like a realtor, or whatever, right? And they have models of houses. There's this creepy guy, right? They're just sitting down <laughs> in the center of the desk, and oh, these are nice houses. You want to go see them? You can da da da, whatever, right? So they end up going into this neighborhood which was kind of like a the fake neighborhood and they took him to a ha- they all the houses were the same and the houses were nice right two story all the houses everything was the same but chairs in the outside the grass it was like a fake uh uh division right subdivision and anyways while he's showing him the house it's a young couple probably like 23 25 average while he's showing them the house the guy just leaves right and leaves him in there and hey, where, where'd you go? Peter, where'd you go? I guess the guy was Peter, right? So it's a girl and a guy inside a house and all the houses are similar and they're like, all right, I guess let's go. So when they get into their car, they can't get out of the neighborhood and that number and the house was number 19, right? So they end up getting back to that same house, to the same street. They couldn't, they could never find a way out, right? So it, it's all about, I guess, aliens or something. They take you and now they give him a baby like all of a sudden a couple of days later they give him a baby and it's outside the door they had to stay there because they didn't they couldn't find a way out so they give him a baby and the baby within 100 days the baby grows up and it ends up being it end up it end ends up being an alien right a little alien baby and Mm -hmm. they had to take care of it and all the note said was to take care of the baby well they did the whole opposite eric they were going crazy that what are we doing here and instead of just you know what enjoy the moment like hey you, you have a choice, like either you become uh, enslaved to what's in front of you or you think about it and you're like, okay, I'm already here. Let me just make the best out of it. So they did the whole opposite. They were like trying to, the baby will grow up like super quick, right? So they didn't want to take care of it. The baby would scream like crazy ah, and had like kind of like an alien. And they were just, it's a freaky ass movie. But what I'm trying to say is they killed themselves in a hundred days. They killed themselves. Like they didn't kill themselves. One of the, one of the guys died because for no reason, like he was just going crazy in his head. So he died. And the, the girl died after him, the alien killed, killed her when he didn't eat it. He didn't eat the mom no more. Supposedly it was a mom, right? Like you gotta act like a mom and you're like a dad. So the, the alien just killed them. The, the movie finished and that alien replaced the other alien that was inside the office a couple of year, a couple of days later. The other guy that was in the office was already dying, like that alien. The, this this was a younger man coming into the store. He got the old alien, put him in a, in like a in a bag, opened a big compartment, put him in there, crushed him in, and he sat in the table. And he was the next in line to fool whoever, whatever human was gonna come in. And it was trippy because, in one scene, this girl hits him in the head. 
with with like a like a like a rake or something. Boom! And the alien, the little kid. Well, he was already older, right? He runs towards like when. Let's say you're in the outside of the street, and mm-hmm. you see the, where the water goes down. Yeah. With a little sore, he runs and he picks up the thing and he throws himself under underneath the this 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 I guess sore, but it wasn't a sore. The lady followed him and there were houses on top of houses and she kept on melting down and down every time she will melt into another room, see another another people taking care of another alien and then she will melt into another room. So it was an endless cycle. It was just crazy. Wow. Man, but, what uh, movie is this, bro? I, I I'll Google the name, but it was interesting because all the time I was saying, hey just take care of the kid like too bad just take care of the kid live there if they, whatever happens it happens but maybe they would they would have lived if they would just take care of the kid they didn't want to take care wow. of the kid because it so was a were, kid they were but, focusing on the problem not on the solution yeah they were focusing on trying to get out try, that guy started digging for no reason down because he heard voices now mm-hmm. i know why at the end you see because all those there there's little on, stacked up on, against each other little villages or whatever right you can't see him it's a virtual world and it's an imaginary world but um at the end of the day that's life like whatever situation you're in think about the situation and find its best solution and just cope with it like there's like let's say we're lost in the desert right or in the jungle I saw, you're lost in the jungle and if you start focusing how am i gonna get out of here you forget how to live survive in the jungle so you gotta mm. switch you gotta make a switch. You give me a note. You gotta make. Beautiful. You gotta be like, okay, you know what? I'm in the jungle. Yeah. Let's go get. Let's go get to the river. Let's start drinking water. We gotta survive. And you're just there enjoying the jungle life, and you can make your own life. But if people are trying to get out of it instead of just, I'm in the jungle. I'm not gonna get out of it. Obviously, a lot of planes haven't seen me. I'm not gonna waste my time and think, oh, there's another plane coming in. No, you live your life. You adapt to your surroundings, and you adapt to that change. Wow, that's a beautiful fu- freaking analogy. I just because, went off. Talk- I just went into that no, because I saw those two movies and I was like, okay, that's nice. No, but it's good, man. You go, you take it there because uh, it's like you go back to declutter. If you if you're like in a situation and you're cluttered by fear, you're cluttered by thoughts. Like I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. You start not being aware of what's in front of you. What's what can help you? You don't even you don't even know if the the thing that's in front of you can make you survive more days and yeah, you know, be able to eat that plant or and your mind has all those answers. So when you got to you, you got to tune in though you have you to gotta tune, in. tune in, yeah. So and um, that's that's what I've been thinking lately. Like okay, when you ask me how about a, like I can only control so much of our environments because right now since we're born the environment controls us. Hate it or love it, it's your envi- our environment is controlling us some way somehow, right? Job, mm-hmm. uh, TV, your favorite episode, some way somehow the environment has this sort of touch towards you, right? So you go back to just removing all that. Let's say you go a whole mo- whole whole month without your phone, then new thoughts are gonna come into your mind. New thoughts, and one thing about our mind, we gotta understand the conscious mind thinks for us. The subconscious mind, it doesn't. It just records everything you put into it. Mm-hmm. But when you're aware of that, even if you if you put it in your conscious mind when you're reading it, now you can say as your subconscious mind, I don't want that information. You give me a no. Yeah. Give me something else because now. All these thoughts that I'm saying, like all these words that I'm coming out of my mouth, I couldn't say these words five years from now. You get me? I was so, somewhere else welding, doing carne salas in the week. Like I wasn't five years ago. Like you mean five years five, ago? Five years ago, yeah, five years yeah. ago, six years ago. Like I had to put new thoughts in my mind in order to keep on going towards my destination or towards what I wanted to create. You know, I think I have a very similar experience as well because even like six years ago. I didn't have these kind of thoughts. I mean, my thoughts were very different, you know, very uh, in tune to what is in the world and not within me. You know, I was not mm-hmm. tuning into myself. I was not tuning into the right energy. I was tuning into all kinds of energy. I was I was still pulling away in different directions, you know. And I mean, I was more focused than when I was younger, but I was tuning my my fork every single every single year. It was just tuning, 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 tuning to like right now. Like I'm at higher frequency. I don't want. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm. I'm a good place right now. You know, like where I can actually focus on my my Your daily balance. routine, my balance, be able to take care of my family, take care of myself. You know, take care of others. Not only like oh, like take care of people, but just like be there for people. You know, like uh, be able to be in the right place, right state of mind to be able to give somebody advice or to hear somebody out, to uh, provide uh, some kind of input in somebody's uh, background or feedback and whatever they might be going through. You would provide some wisdom. I think I've, I've been able, able, able to achieve some of that because I've 
tuned out a lot of negative energy coming towards me, you know, and I, I figured it out the easiest way, bro, to tune, tune out all the negative energy coming your way. Cause there's always going to be negative energy coming your way. It's part of life. It's part of the, the, the yin and the yang is by showing love, man, by showing love that frequency right there, bro. It protects you from all the craziness going on in the world. The craziness going on with people. Yesterday I was jogging, bro. <laughs> it's cre- cool, cool example about what I'm talking about. Check out, check out the notepad in the background. That's how we start writing notes, writing information blueprint. But segue, I was running, right? I was running, I was doing my jog. I was meditating, doing my jog. I'm doing like my, uh, dude, this is on When I talk about this, it's like, if nobody does this. I don't know if you do it, but I know that when I jog, I'm doing my mantras. Yeah, you you have to, like, you talk to yourself and you mm-hmm. I'm doing decompress. mantras, like, like a little prayer. And, and I'm just like in a different zone, bro. Like beautiful, right? Absorbing the energy from the, the sun, you know, absorbing the energy from the environment and just being one. And then uh, I'm running and across the, the street like far away there was a car coming right but i i crossed the the bridge i mean the street and then i go to the other side of the park as i'm going to the other side of the park there's a guy like driving in a in a car he's staring at me and he spits like 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 pissed out because i'm running and he's not you know like and i was like man i just got love for you bro hey man whatever you're going through i said peace love and frequencies for you bro like it doesn't matter what you're going through you know you don't know what somebody's going through, man. Somebody, some people have a, this, this pea brain mind because it's been like, they, they haven't been able to expand on that mind because they've been so cluttered with all the negative information they've been, you know, dealt with experiences, trauma, you know, uh, child abuse, um, negative parents around them, you know, negative people around them, um, negative environments, negative thoughts, negative negative thoughts. thoughts you know, just all of this compression into one ticking time bomb, you know, and, and they see people having a good time. They see people having like, a, not even a good time, just being there. And they're like, I'm pissed off with that person because they're doing something I'm not. Mm-hmm. And it's not even them telling them that. It's their subconscious like, bro, you know, like, and then, but everybody has that little Yeah, man, it goes, of, it goes back to what, what are you feeding your subconscious mind? Because mm-hmm. um, we're watching everything, right? Even if it's shows, narcos, uh, porn whatever the fuck you're watching right whatever it's yeah. bad right you're putting yeah. it in your mind and all you're putting is bad stuff whatever your music that bad words whatever right so and in it portrays an image in your reality of what you want to see and who you want to hang out and what you want to do and what's going on at seven o'clock friday night like and and how you, you see start things. seeing yourself yeah and then you don't even know you're just there because you that you think you belong to that crowd or you think you belong hearing that music like whatever you're thinking right so it goes back to turning off those uh negative frequencies you want to build po- uh positive thoughts right mm-hmm. so you turn off those negative frequencies and there's a lot of positive frequencies the thing is they don't have the same views and in those fre- you can see you can it's facts you see it on youtube the positive frequencies don't have as much as uh good views or good plays or plays yeah. at all like from the bad frequencies you see it and i'm like oh <laughs> like perfect example you go to Nicki minaj he has like 1.8 billion and then you go to like 432 hertz it's like 400 000. <laughs> like, yeah so it's a big so, difference and once we're in numbers what i want, look eric i'm looking at the numbers mm-hmm. 162 people from egypt went into our website right? 162 people from egypt bro egypt where the gurus are from you know like i know and it, it's connected maybe i guess <laughs> we got egypt and then we got japan we got Saudi Arabia, 17, like Singapore, we got three people. Just think about it. This is, this is, these numbers are, are nice. I see them and they're low right now. Right. But once we get our cartoon going and everything, it's universal A cartoon. We can make so many languages. So I, I can already see all everybody playing its part in who the guru cats are going to be. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. Like Batman is Batman because of who we are, like who we are. Oh, okay. Batman is a story of a guy that's a bat that has bad abilities because he really doesn't have any superpowers but the mind of a genius and he makes a lot of Mm -hmm. yeah he makes a lot of things and he uses a bat as a symbol and he portrays as as a bat like all his features and stuff like that so that's the same thing with the guru cats like the guru cats the name itself guru guru is somebody that teaches like it's somebody that teaches anybody else how to do something like that's 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 being a guru like you understand the process of you got when you teach somebody, there's a process behind it. In order for you to teach it, you gotta actually either experience it yourself or learn about it and talk to it about to others. And then we got the cats. The cats, it's the cats. You got the guru showing the cats how to be the cat, like their abilities, 
how they're going to become the superheroes, how they're going to become the guru cats. And it goes back to Brazil, 27 views. You got Mexico on top, 326. Actually, United States also. Um, and this is only a certain two-week span. I'm just taking two weeks, right? That's in two weeks, August 12th to August 20, eight days. Those are the numbers. We got so far 800 people that went into our website in eight days. That's 100 people a day. Wow, that's amazing, bro. I was, I was talking about right there right before I was, uh, when I was waiting for you. I was like 75 because we have 75 subscribers in, in the Infinite Talks podcast, podcast uh -huh. on YouTube channel. I was like, 75 people is not a lot, right? But if you think about it, just think about can you can you put 75 people in your house? And think yeah. about it, your house is gonna be packed. You know what I mean? Like, so like, it depends on how you see it. You know, it's perspective. You know, uh, yeah. No, if you and, put 75 no, people in the world, there's nobody, but you put them in the house. It's like, well, we got 75 people deep, man. You gotta make some food. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, and it's about numbers. So we're doing something right. We're getting a lot of people in the last 30 days. Yeah, we've 30 days. Um, we've a thousand people that have gone to our website. Just think about it. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, and that's not even like where we're get, like when once we get the cartoon rolling and all that it's just gonna be numbers up off the chain everybody worldwide the story's gonna that's that's what's good about the story like it's gonna bring a lot of people together from different parts of our world universe just think about it so even the aliens yeah. are gonna want to read this cartoon like who are the guru cats <laughs> <laughs> the aliens are gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> guru cats <laughs> guru cats frequency frequency <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was a good talk. That's a good show today, Eric. No, but yeah. So, um, so that's that's one thing I'm I'm noticing the numbers like that. All of a sudden, I'm looking, I'm looking, and now I just let it ride, right? I understand. Okay, this is a long run. So, if we have a thousand people going in in thirty days, we're looking at our business being endless, right? So, just think about it. It's gonna be multiplied so many times as we go along the yeah. process of the cartoon. But um, the other day, I was just like. Looking at the website, I asked five, five people. An hour later, it was like a hundred people. I was like, "What? Like, where do these people are coming from?" And it does tell you Japan. It, it says where they're looking at our website. Yeah, from. like what country they're coming from. Mm -hmm. so Dude, not nice. only that, but in the last, not even last month, but maybe in the last three weeks, com combined, you and I, like, we've done like se several semi, not even viral worthy, but a little bit viral, you know, viral mm -hmm. videos. I think on one one of the TikTok podcasts, uh, I mean TikTok uh, post that I had, it had like ten point seven thousand views, and then uh, another one had uh, five thousand, five point six thousand like that, and then another one had a thousand. I mean, and then and they're like simple ways of of spreading a good message, and then at the same time promoting our products, you know, which is the Guru Cats, the Infinite Talks podcast, and and they, it, it's good because it right now I'm just looking at how it breaks down from which web, which website they signed in or which website did they Google you or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. There's one that, that duck, duck go .com, oh, I guess so yeah. that's, that's, a, I guess they, they were searching in that filter for the group uh -huh. cats, one in Yahoo, uh, YouTube has nine, Google has 17, Facebook has 175 and direct hits 318. And I'm just reading like, a, like I said, a two week span, or I think it's a week. I'm just playing around with the numbers. But um, it tells you specifically Yahoo, um, unknown where they went through your website. So, so that's that's we're trending right now in all those the outlets, and that's uh, amazing, bro. That, and that's where I look. These numbers are the ones I look at to, at our YouTube's and all those are gonna follow along pretty soon from our web. Yeah. They're going direct to our website, and later on, all those numbers are gonna follow these numbers. No, and imagine this, like, we're we're really in the infancy stage of, of this manifestation. So, within the next couple of years, I mean, that's only going to be, uh, you know, call it, we call it, uh, what do you call it? Um, That growth, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> like, uh, it's just growth at a very minute scale right now, but it's going to be, you know, getting bigger and bigger, like that snowball effect. Like, it's just a mm -hmm. small snowball right now, but it's getting bigger and bigger. A couple of years, you're going to see, oh, that's the word, exponential growth, you know. That's the way it works, man. Like anything, you know, you put in money, you put in work, you put in time. All of these part of the formula starts adding, and all of a sudden, you start seeing a big trajectory. You start seeing coming. the manifestation. Yeah, it's, you start seeing the manifestation, man. and it comes from the mind. Like, it you got to see it in your mind before it actually manifests in front of you. So, yeah. everything I'm talking right now, nobody's probably gonna watch this, but a couple of years from now, when we when we our cartoon does go viral and it goes going in every platform available. 
people are going to start seeing who are these guys who created the cartoon and not even probably not right because that's not what we're looking for like even myself i don't even know who writes for the for the x-men or stuff like that like or you don't who know writes. Who, the, who created the ninja turtles you know yeah we like know we don't ninja know turtles. that like we just know the ninja turtles and we've yeah. i've seen the documentaries i've studied those guys who created, who <laughs> and i still can't say their names because i'm not focused on that i already know who i'm just focused on how they, they did it like okay and the way they did it they did it the way they did it. Like it came from a drawing and that's the way it was presented. So the way we're doing it, I always say that's the way it, we're doing it. That's the way the guru cats have to come out. That's the way we, we have our game plan, everything. And that's what I was thinking the other day. Like we have a game plan and right. We try to, we, we don't try, we stick to that game plan, but as we go, we adjust ourselves to how the game plan is adjusting to our life. Man, that's beautiful right there, man. Uh, this is an amazing topic. I think we went, we stayed around the same topic the whole the whole uh, the whole topic today the whole uh, session the whole show the whole show um, within like just decluttering the mind game plan how to you know put the right information while while you're deleting the wrong information how to be conscious of your the inner, powerful words the power of words how are being conscious of your power of words because if you're not conscious of the words you're saying or the words that are in your mind you're intaken. yeah then you're gonna be following instead of like leading your path yeah you're gonna be speaking without understanding what you're saying you're just yeah. programmed to be saying the same bad words the same negative thoughts the same things like and it takes and it's, it, it hard, take, it's hard bro it's, it's hard because i even have a hard time like staying away from bad words that i've been used to saying same, for the, yeah for the last hundred but years because <laughs> we, we, that's not our problem that's not i mean that's not our fault we were born yeah. into that we were just born into um in front of the tv watching tv yeah we would get to play a lot but when the tv came in it was it was endless like it was just we could sit down there for hours just watching tv we didn't get up and go and that's what's happening right now now you're watching mm -hmm. your phone for hours and and you get distracted bro like the other day real quickly before we wrap it up here but we're getting close to the wrap-up session wrap uh, it up real up. tight yeah um like sometimes when you're not where uh like you might be somewhere right and depending on your perspective within you it's like we were talking about earlier like you might be seeing somebody, right? And uh, let's say you're in line for Whataburger or whatever, and the, you get to the to the like the window, right? And the lady's like acting like, "Oh my god!" Like she has a long face. Mm -hmm. She might be going through a tough day, right? You don't know, but she acts like she's really not wanting to hear your freaking menu, like what you want to ask her. You know, like she's not not down to give you customer service. What I want to bring it to you, and she's like here, like. And you're like, you can, you can take it both ways. Like, you know, like you start cussing her out. Like, what the hell is she thinking about? Right. Right. Like, man, this chick is acting great, man. I can't water work for food. And ah, you start going into, ah, into this funk about like, man, crazy. I'm not going to put, man, fuck water burger. You know, I'm not going to come back to water burger. Like, man, and from and then, then on, like your meal is going to suck. Right. But then there's another approach. Like there might be another approach. Like you just, you can just, uh, sit down and be like, maybe, man, maybe she's going through some tough, tough, maybe tough times right now. Maybe she can't pay her bills. Maybe her somebody's sick in your family somebody died or maybe she just has some a lot of trauma in your life you know maybe she has that person's been going through a rough day somebody told her off or something and then you're like getting that the shitty end of the stick you know like you're te tocó a ti que contigo se las, se las cobró, you know it's not even your fault but at that point in moment if you just share love right there you know like hey uh i wish you a great day you know you look like you're having a good um uh, a bad day or whatever power words man you can you can be like man this, there's hope in this world like that that person can be like man i was having a shitty day but then this guy or this person be like told me something that made me like we reflect like hey dude like i'm actually working you know i'm making money you know uh and I'm, we forget I'm, to see all those things yeah and so. it goes back to you're you're just and that's one of the things we fall victim of you, you just mentioned a perfect example a cashier mm -hmm. at the store right she is just thinking off and off in her head so many things she forgets she's working at the cash register that's why she gives you the attitude and mm -hmm. i would tell my one of my friends that asked me for information he was going through a lot right and i'm like hey you're not going through a lot we're at work get everything you have in your mind and let it go because it doesn't exist what exists is me pass me that tool i need to take off this tire from this 18 wheeler that's what we're doing and don't let your mind distract distract you. And he, he was, was not like, there. He was not yeah. there. And he, when I told him that, he was like, like he he started he started paying attention to me. Like you need to start focusing. Like 
everything you put in your head is just yourself traumatizing your head that, oh, this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I forgot to pay the bill. Like, who cares? Like, if you start doing that, then, yeah, all bills have to be paid, right? But it matters, like, okay, I'll, I'm still going to pay it in a happy happy tone, even if I, I don't have that money in time. Like, that's I'm going to allow that to trickle the effect of me being at work. In not, state not, mind. Yeah, not giving this customer his full attention. And it, it goes back to just take a minute, sit down, close your close your eyes and just think, where am I right now? And open them. If you're at work, then stay at work. Don't let your mind go anywhere else. It takes time to get to that level where you're just working, but uh, it take, it's practice. You got to do practice no matter what. 100%, man. 100%. But yeah, just focus on your task at hand and the rest just dissolves. It just starts going out by itself. Like your mind doesn't let it in. Like, hey, I need to pay this light bill. And no, 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 wait. Who cares? Like you already know you have to pay that. Just pay attention to what you're doing. That's going to get paid automatically. You're going to find a way to get that money. You got to start thinking like that. You got to start thinking, oh man, I owe a thousand bucks tomorrow. And how am I going to do it? No, no, no. Okay. These are the possibilities. Start thinking about the possibilities. Okay. I could go do this. I could sell this. And by the time you know it, sit down and write it down. And the best answer is going to come to your mind. And that's what I got to do. That's, that's one of the tricks that a lot of people don't know. And it's very easy to, to do it, but because we're so cluttered, it goes back to the cluttered yeah, mind. Yeah, it goes back to you can't write. If, yeah. yeah, I guess I'm just saying it. If okay, you're too ahead. cluttered in your mind, you're not going to be able to come up with that that solution. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying right now, Herman and I, is like, dude, declutter your mind as much as possible. Sit down whenever something breaks down. Sit down. Write stuff down that are possible solutions. And let your mind work. It's Without not even that. Part. Don't you don't even have to write solutions. Just write, sit down and write. I am grateful. I am blessed. I have two hands. I can speak. I can walk. Start writing everything that you notice gratitude for. And all of a sudden, the universe gives it back to you. Okay, now you're paying attention. Like don't mm -hmm. don't don't waste your time thinking of things don't you, you can't control. Think about the things that are you're able to see and grasp and control. And that's your body. Learn how to control your body. Sit down tame it like don't we're not animals like we want to be all oh, like man i gotta go to work i gotta go do this give me the coffee give me this give me that hey hold on wait sit down don't let your mind your body be like that to you control it like okay i need to go meditate this is gonna be good for my body you know what this i'm gonna go eat at this time this is gonna be good for my i need to stretch and we go back to we started about stretching eric mm -hmm. and uh, stretching is a, one, one of the keys now that i'm able to elevate my mind and i'm able to grasp because i understand where i'm at I was born. I I was born into a place where I don't know. Uh, I was. I had to not only provide for myself, for for people around me, my kids, my family, my wife, my girlfriend, whoever, right, my ex, whoever I had to provide. It had to now it was a big budget. So I had to understand. Okay, to me that's not a big budget. To me is how can I get there plus more? And that's what I'm doing. I'm just finding ways. You know what? Five years before I used to struggle of finding a job. Now. The next day, if I get fired from where I'm at, I can, the next day I'm like already thinking, okay, what are you going to do? This is what you have. This is what you know. Boom, boom, boom. Start doing that. Don't start being like, you can go the bills. Who's going to pay him? Like you start going that negative route and it takes you from, yeah. You're not going to solve anything. So just stay positive and it goes back to decluttering. It's hard to declutter. It's hard to stay positive, but it takes practice. It's just take, it takes, takes discipline and practice. But I think it's just taking the first step is like doing stuff that is easy. Turn off the TV. Yeah, turn, know, off easy. Just turn off the TV sometimes just disconnect it no look, disconnect this is, it. turn off the TV and look for a, some uh, a, a YouTube uh, binaural beats or frequency binaural that's beats, low man. that's mm -hmm. nice um, we are all about frequency obviously if you listen to something that's a mm -hmm. high frequency a hip hop song whatever it's gonna still stimulate your high frequencies you wanna stay low you wanna stay calm where your where your mind starts shutting everything around you you're outside you hear the ambulance you hear the birds and all of a sudden you you even they're still playing in the background right but if you are so in tune to who you are you, you listen to your voice you hear your voice up mm -hmm. ahead of all the sounds of everything even the tv so yeah but turn it off uh put something on your phone meditation music get your levels down your frequency where you want to be able to to be kind of like a little bit emotion right not too much emotion but emotion where you can get it and understand the I, need to, is, bro. I need to just tame myself like why am i like this why do i know like stop think and everything's gonna be okay bro like like Take i was talking buddy i was talking about this and i was jog when i jog i get real tempted to 
and and now it's not not anymore but before i was tempted to listen to music and now when i jog i actually listen to 528 hertz or 432 hertz and for some strange reason you get a super powerful emotion like yeah. you you feel like you're in a in a drama movie like we're like the, the climax and it's like that's because you it, it, the so, subconscious mind is yeah. the emotional mind eric so when you get to that state yeah. your emotional mind is putting those images at 100 percent. that's why you feel like you know you want to cry because you start thinking of something else or because you're emo you're you tap into that subconscious mind and the subconscious yeah. mind is the emotional mind i, I think I get, we, like in my in my experience i think i get really emotional because i get so full of gratitude at that moment that i'm, at, mm -hmm. I'm able to jog look at this beautiful park look at this beautiful world like i have a beautiful family i have two beautiful kids and a and wife i have beautiful parents you know got beautiful mm -hmm. suegro uh, everything's beautiful, beautiful everything man it's aligned you know like uh opportunities yeah. and all this stuff and it's and just there's, there's, gratitude man and it's you know what sucks about it there's people that are totally the opposite of you eric and yeah. that's that's the reality of life like there's always a yin to a yang yeah so, yeah 100 but uh, that doesn't mean you have to be a yang or yin whatever you want to qualify you're good or bad right but anyways um before we head out Eric, I, it's it's. I got three minutes left, so let me just say all right. this: the all this time we've been talking about things that are gonna influence you to do better, right? To to mm -hmm. to wake up early, to think better thoughts, to declutter your mind, to be a better person, to use powerful words in a great in a good way, to mm -hmm. speak only words that are good words, no bad words, good words. Put things in your mind that are gonna help you succeed in life. Understand that declutter does exist, and you need to. I mean, clutter does exist and you need to declutter. You need to start erasing a lot of things you don't need in your mind. And as we talk about all of this, right, there's one thing that we, we didn't even add to our list, right, because we don't let it exist. And you know what it is, it's the COVID. The COVID, that's how the COVID-19, I've been already twice infected with it. Mm -hmm. And everybody asks me, Alapos, how did you do it? And this is what I do. This is what you do. This is what you do. Not only when the COVID hits, this is what you do. To, to actually make sure that you're ready for when it hits, when it takes it hits your body, because we we cannot beat this virus. It's already it's already out of control, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you beat it? You don't you don't let it exist in your thoughts. Like we didn't even say the COVID at all, and that's one of the hot topics out there about news. One hundred percent. But mm -hmm. we we are so focused in being good and doing the Guru Cats that to me this is the second time around I got the the COVID. I started my my stretch before it actually hit. So I was already prepared. My mind was already telling me, you need to prepare, drink your vitamins. And I've, I have, I'm already, I think, negative. I need to get tested again, right? But I bought, tested positive a week or two weeks ago. And the first time around, I did get heart symptoms. This time around, I was able to understand, okay, it's in your mind. Like, control your mind. Don't let, the, don't let those symptoms come out again. And how do you do that? By understanding the... the it is alive. It's already here. Like it's already too late thinking about who did it or who who didn't. Right. It's like going back just, to the jungle. Theory. Just adapting. An analogy yeah, you you adapt about, to like, it. How do you get out of the jungle? By learning how to survive in the jungle. All right, Eric. That's my cue. I gotta Bro, go. How do you get out of the jungle? By hey, learning how to survive. To the, uh, Rush At Athletics. Athlete Rush, Rush hey, Athletics. Shout out to our sponsor, the Rado Rush Athletics. Check him out if you're an athlete here in town, Laredo, Texas. Shout out to my boy Ricky, my brother. He's a great coach. He'll put your, your child, your children in a great athletic performance for any type of sport they might play. Shout out to the Raiders Rush Athletics. I'm an athlete. You're an athlete too. Anybody can be an athlete by starting with your mind, working with your body, working with your soul, put it into existence. Shout outs Peace. to the Infinite Guru Cats podcast coming soon. Shout outs to Infinite Talks podcast. Shout outs to the Guru Cat team. Shout outs to Sketch 83, all the homies from the We The Switch podcast. Happy Oscar. Uh, Carlos Rob, you know, uh, Sketch 83. Shout out to Jeff in Alabama. Shout out to Rick at the Red Athletics. Boom, Rush Athletics. Uh, what else, June? Any, anybody I'm forgetting? No, Hogu just uh, shout out to the man above. Uh, gratitude for everything oh, yeah, we 100%, are able to. Always. To, uh, shout out to her. Uh, 100, I mean, gratitude to everything we have that is allowing us to put our voice in this mm -hmm. network. And shout frequency. out to the man above. The, the energy above us, man. God bless peace you gotta go oh, later health and peace peace out june later eric peace out bro thanks for coming on hey uh yes tune in for infinite talks podcast episodes every week we have an episode coming on we have new guests coming on um working on that and uh thanks for tuning in another great episode of the infinite talks podcast spread the love just spread the frequency manifest peace out
Oh, <laughs> yeah.